So within the interchangeable cartridge system, the ultra change system, we also have a lawn brush. So let's have a look at that and how to use it. This is the lawn brush out of the ultra change cartridge system for the Stirlings. And one thing that you may notice if you're a Kensington or Liberty user, this brush is a much stiffer, uh, more aggressive brush altogether. Now, that doesn't mean that it needs to be aggressive all the time because that's about partly to do with the depth. So again, what depth setting should I set it at? Actually, you know, you, it depends on how long your grass is. So the, the brush is used for, you can brush out, um, you can brush out thatch and we'll show it working uh, deeply to do that. But you could also, if the lawn's left untidy after doing uh, particularly the dethatching operation, you could use the brush or the scarifier cartridge to clean up after that. Uh, I like to use the brush sometimes in the summer where the grass doesn't actually need cutting. Uh, so what I might actually do is use the brush just to help brush the grass upright and then lay it back down with the roller and put in a nice strong stripe without actually cutting the grass itself. You can also use this for brushing in uh, top dressing. So if you're doing a leveling operation uh, and putting lovely dry sand into a dry sward, then this brush spinning at high speed will help brush the material forwards until that material finds a hole or a hollow for it to go into that then doesn't get brushed as you continue to go forward. So nice for leveling there. And if you, if you have a really uh, short sward and you are affected a lot by worms, especially in the autumn time, then the worm casts, the casting worms cause those little coins of soil uh, which never seem to quite recover well and also give an opportunity for weed grasses to, to get into. By using this regularly, then it will help disperse those soil, uh, those soil spots that the worms bring up in their casts. So it's quite a useful cartridge to have for lots of different purposes. It's not the one that you're going to put on the top of your list, uh, but if you've already bought the other cartridges, it's, it's like with all uh, armaments, you are properly armed to handle all types of situations. So let's take a look at this cartridge in operation in the machine. So the brush cartridge does a really great job of just picking out the brown material in the grass. And the reason it does that is because the bristle tine itself can't pick up any plants and, it, and, and put them into the grass box and it doesn't cut into the soil. So you're not getting any soil in there at all. It's just brown, loose, dead material and it's really ever so effective. My word of warning with the brush, as with all brushes, it's spinning around really quite quickly. So really just use it over the surface once, otherwise it can burn the leaves of the grass plant. Um, secondly, if you set it too deep, it really does pull the machine along. And in fact, you don't really need to use the, the rear roller drive because the brush is pulling the machine along. But the other thing about being setting too deep is the bristle itself needs to be targeted at where the debris is and if you allow the bristle actually to bend too far back as it's brushing then you will start to get breakage of the bristle itself so please just pay special attention to make sure that this cartridge lasts you as long as possible before you have to replace the bristles that you don't set it unnecessarily deep and, and with brushes deeper isn't always best because if it's brushing with just the bristle like so, it actually is much more effective than if the bristle, you're trying to pick up the material with the back of the bristle um, itself. So just some words of warning on that. Uh, please set the depth so it's getting your target debris and really cleaning up. It's, it's a fantastic clean up tool, this one. So 
Here's the debris here. You can see very few leaves in it at all.